Okay, it's July the 3rd, 2025. One more day until 250 years, uh, USA as a country. But let's get to this really fast. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I've got the, um, the meter set up for 3 watts into an 8 ohm load. And I'm going to change the load from 8 ohms. So I got it on 80 right there. And the multiplier times 0.1, so it's 8 ohms. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the load from 8 ohms to 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2.5. And, and then I'll change it from 8 to 10, 12.5, 15, and 20. But right now, we've got it set for 3 watts into 8 ohms. Now, when I go down in impedance, when I go from 8 ohms to 6 ohms, I get more power. If I go to 5 ohms, about the same. If I go to 4 ohms, it starts to drop a little bit, but it's still more than we had. 3 ohms, well, actually, it, it, went, it went actually down below 3 watts then, just very slightly. And at 2.5, it went down significantly. Now, if we go back to 8... Okay, now there's our 3 watts again. Now if I go to higher impedances, uh, I'm going to go to 10 ohm speakers. Power drops, 12 and a half drops, 15, and 20. So it drops, it actually drops a whole watt when you go from uh, the 8 ohm uh, tap on the amplifier to uh, 20 ohm speakers, which is, we don't have 20 ohm speakers that I know of, but there's 15 ohms. It actually drops quite a bit. So if you put your 16 ohm speakers on an 8 ohm tap, you're going to be losing quite a bit of power. If you do the ratios here, it dropped to um, like 2.4. So you could do the ratio 2.4 to 3 and see just how much power you lose by putting your, uh, by changing your speakers. Now this is not changing the, the 4, 8, 16 ohm tap on the amplifier. This is changing the speakers. But if you've got an 8 ohm and you put 4 on it, actually that's Seems like you get the most about five ohms. Yeah. So you can put some, uh, a little bit lower impedance speakers on an eight ohm tap. You could put five ohm speakers. Four ohm, well, still get a little bit more, about the same. So from an from an, an eight ohm tap, four ohm speakers would give you more power, and sixteen ohm speakers would give you less power. For what it's worth, well, it's kind of nice to be able to measure this in in, in real numbers and, and no guessing. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, my friends.